Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. I'm Grace and I have another message from the Lord. Um, I feel like there's much urgency on this message. He said that, you know, I should just come on here and he has something to, you know, speak to you about, you know, through me. And like, you know, I was about to go to, I was about to do something and like, I've been asking the Lord, you know, I asked the Lord, you know, what is it that, you know, you would like me to do, you know, before, you know, I go into this, you know, just in case, because sometimes, he, you know, sometimes what we want to do is not what the Lord has for us to do. So I often ask him this nowadays. And so I asked him and like, he began to tell me about someone, I believe, and the Lord gave me a few details, you know, and so help me, Holy Spirit. I'm here, Lord. I'm ready let's do this father lord so he has given me a word he said vow all right when you make a vow unto the lord it's better to make a vow not to make a vow than to make a vow and not pay when you make a vow unto the lord he expects you to do it it is no joke there was a bible story about a man named jephthah and Jephthah, he, you know, he was thrown out by his brothers because he was the son of a harlot. And like his brothers, they had a different mom. And so they threw him out and said, you know, we don't want you here. You're a stranger's um, mother. You're the son of a stranger. You know, your mother's a stranger. And so they threw him out. And so when the children of Ammon, you know, came up against them, they, you know, sent back for Jephthah because Jephthah was mighty, you know, he was a mighty warrior. And so they sent back for Jephthah and Jephthah, he, you know, he was hesitant as, at first. He was like, you know, why are you calling me? Because, you know, you threw me out. So what do you need me for? And so when they called Jephthah, eventually he went and he asked the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm going to go up against the children of Haman and I, I need you, I need you to help me. And if you help me, you know, the first person that, if you help me to win this battle, the first person that comes from my house, I'm going to offer all that person to you as a sacrifice. And Jephthah did win the battle. And many times in life, we ask the Lord, Lord, if you give me this, I will do that. And when you receive the thing, you forget it because the Lord is so sweet and the Lord is so kind. And many times, you know, we do that. Yeah, like I said, many times we do that. And because the Lord is so nice, we believe that he has forgotten. The Lord takes promises, covenants and stuff like that very seriously. And so, you know, that is why the Bible says it's better not to make it than to make it and not pay. The Lord expects you to do it. And so when Jephthah had won the battle, when he went home, the first person that came out from his house was his daughter to, you know, you know, thank him and to you know, celebrate his victory. And like Jephthah said, you know, why have you done this thing? You know, I told the Lord, the first person that comes out, you know, I'm going to offer, off, offer up as a sacrifice. And like his daughter said, you know, if it's, if it's so, it's so, if the Lord has said it, then it's, that's just how it's going to be. But just let me go to the mountain, I believe the mountain. Just let me go up to the mountains, you know, with some men and bewail my virginity. That is what she said. And when she you know he said okay and then she went for two months bewailed her virginity and when she came back you know she was offered up as a sacrifice unto the lord and we all know you know in those days you know what sacrifice is when you're sacrificed yes so this is this story is true and we have to know that the bible stories are true someone really did do that and so god is very serious about his vows when you make a vow to the lord do it you know with me when i was called by the lord you know when the lord saved my life there are some things that i said unto the lord that i have to must do and i forgot them i'm going to be honest initially i forgot but now that i look at 
at it, I can see the Lord's hand on my life because I allowed him to lead me. It allowed me to be faithful to him to do what it is that I had told him that I was going to do, which, you know, is serious. You know, the Lord reminded me, you know, he, he sent someone. This isn't someone who is even like, you know, into the Bible like that. But a person came to me and said, remember your promise to the Lord and just went away. And so, yes, even after that, I forgot. I was like, you know, but, you know, by following the Lord, he allowed me to, you know, fulfill my promise. And I'm still doing that. And so this is how the Lord, the Lord is not going to just, you know, leave you there because he's very kind and merciful and wonderful. And he knows that many times we have best good intentions, but we can be forgetful. We can, you know, get lost in the world and forget because the Lord is so sweet. We forget and we take it for a joke. But you need to know that when you make a vow unto the Lord, it is no joke. He expects you to pay. And because he does not want you to perish, he does not want, you know, something horrible to happen to you. He will help you. He will help you. And a way for him to help you is for you to follow him. It's for you to follow him and he has said to me, you know, he will carry you. And so in order for him to carry you, you have to come to the end of yourself. Just as, you know, it said in that song by Kevin Stones, Don, Doneswell. Yes, you have to come to, your, to the end of yourself for him to carry you. You have to let go of you. You have to let go of what you used to like and follow the Lord and just allow him to take you where you need to be. You can trust him 100%. He's not, his plans for you are to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and a better future. And so the Lord is saying that this person is proud. You cannot seek to, you know, see praise from people and see praise from God. You have to be of one table, which is partaker of the Lord's table. Oftentimes the Lord asks you to do something. Many people will not like it. Many people will not be for it. That is why he chose you, for you to do it, not for you to, you know, seek you know the approval of the approval of other people you know for what the lord has called you to do and so you cannot seek praise from people when the lord has called you to do a specific thing you have to do it you cannot think about yourself you cannot think about other people you have to do it and so i'm even practicing to do that what the lord has called me to do because many times i tell you i can be so forgetful the lord is like some messages are urgent you'll need to like not me wear makeup and like i completely forgot and i was like all over the place like and so i decided you know to really go into that because he has told me again you know some messages are urgent you need to and so many times we forget but the lord he doesn't forget but because i have him he's here to remind me but if you don't have him yes and so the lord is saying it's time for you to stop being proud forget about what people will think about you and do it this is for your own soul a vow is very important and the lord has said seek the lord seek the lord put down what you're doing seek him each and every day seek him put him first above everyone else everything else even yourself seek him so this is the message for the lord this is the message from the lord continue to stay blessed